Okay, you guys. I had to put my baby asleep. So this live is late today. I'm sorry. I've got two little kids at home that still need so much attention and help. But um, let me know when you get on and let's get going. There's a couple of things I want to show you. So the soup tonight is the creamy tomato basil soup and it's in book number one. Um, this is very fast and I want to say something. So for those of you that are buying the cookbooks and I sometimes show the spiral bound, I just want to tell you that we wish we could sell it this way and I shouldn't always show this, but I want you to know that this is an option. It's very inexpensive. Go to your um, Staples or Kinko's, I think Kinko's is still around, and you just go and get it spiral bound for like a couple of dollars. So I just wanted you to know that because it does make it really easy and we wish we could sell it that way, but we can't. Anyway, so I just wanted to tell you that. Okay, so, I went and bought, let me just move this back, um, an induction, yeah, I went and bought, sorry, I went and bought an induction cooker um, last night because I want to be able to show some things that are right here. Um, so this is actually going to be fun. So we're going to do the soup right in front of you instead of going to my stove over there. So um, anyways, can you see? Okay, you can hear me. If you said that's a good tip, I think you can hear me. <laughs> okay, so to start with the soup, this is very fast um, and easy. It really is. When I say that, I promise you, you guys, that this is the honest truth. Um, this is actually some of my uh, mom's, this is some of people's favorite recipe actually is this one, which is so funny. This is this is on my, I mean, all of them I love, but it's funny how this is like everybody's favorite. So let's get going. We're gonna do it fast. So we have one stick of butter that you're going to melt. And we're gonna make sure that this does this. This is brand new for me to have an induction cooker. So let's hopefully um, get this hot. <laughs> Watch, I can't even work it. Okay, so you're gonna grab a whisk. And you're gonna have your one stick of butter. I think this is starting to get hot now. We'll turn it up even higher. Um, what is the soup? So this is the creamy tomato basil soup. And like I said, oh, sorry. It's very fast. I love to garnish it with some fresh basil after you make it. But this is just a one pot wonder. Once you get everything mixed in, this takes about 20 minutes. So hopefully, like I said, I can get this hot because let's get this going. I even turned it on before. So I didn't even try this, you guys, before. Also, I have some artisan beer bread. I've got friends coming over again. I like to tell you that I like to do a lunch. And has anybody made that yet? Are you afraid? Do you have any questions about that? Um, because I have my pot in my oven that's getting hot, ready for me to almost put the artisan beer bread in. But do you guys have any questions on that? Um, oh my heavens, I pray that this starts working. It's my first time. If not, we're gonna have to move it over there. It's on as high as it can. Let's get this going. Do you want, let me, let me just show you really fast. Does anybody want to see the salad or anything? This thing is not going, so we might have to move over to our thing. I thought it would get super hot. Okay, where do you get your breadboards? Okay, so if you live in Utah, um, I love to get them from Mrs. Call's Candy. She has amazing ones. I love Sun River. Sun River is in Provo, Utah. They have cheap, amazing cutting boards. I've got, I'll show you the new cool ones that I just got. I love to stack my cutting boards out like this. I like to stack them out. I think it's so cute in the kitchen and this is going a little overload as you can see, but I got this one and this one from Sun River Gardens and they were only $30. They were only $30 a piece, so very inexpensive. And you can go to Home Goods really anywhere. I mean, so many places now have breadboards. 
Um, but those are my favorites. Those are my absolute favorites. And then I've gotten some from uh, Italy when I went to go visit my mom that were very inexpensive. This is super funny, you guys. This is like not going. And I have it as high as we can. So this is funny. Real life. Did I miss a question? Um, maybe put your hand over to see if it's heating up. Yeah, I know. It's not. So come over here. So weird. So weird. Sorry for that. Okay, so you're just going to melt your butter. I would highly suggest investing in a Staub or a Le Creuset pot because I use them daily, daily. I never want to go really to any other pot. I've told you about the pots and pans that I got from Costco. Yes, I love those for different reasons, but I love my Staub and my um, Le Creuset. I've got my Le Creuset in the oven now. See, this is just harder to show you but I don't know why it's not working, so I'll have to figure it out, brand new. Okay, so you've got your one stick of butter, and then you're gonna have your cup of flour, and you're gonna make a roux, okay? So, maybe you can ask me anything if you want while we're waiting. Does anybody have anything while they're waiting? I'm sorry, I thought that was getting hot, and I have a, oh, well, he's now seven month old baby. That uh, you know, needs so much attention. Okay, so you're just gonna kinda make a roux with this. This is a very, very fast soup. And look, I've got this that needs to get hotter. This is honestly funny, you guys. Sometimes these lives, oh my gosh, I'm like so embarrassed sometimes. Um, okay, so after you do that, let me tell you a couple of tips while this is finally getting hot. Okay. When you are dealing with diced tomatoes, you need to buy quality tomatoes. Um, my mom actually met a guy in Italy that said the best brand that's going to be cheap at your grocery store is Hunt's, is Hunt's Tomatoes. But I, I forgot the name of the one that I love to buy. It ups all your quality, especially on lasagna, pizza, things like that. Um, I think they're called San Clemente. I think they're called San Clemente and I ran out in my Kings, which would be like a Smith here, didn't have any more. So I get it at Trader Joe's or I've seen it at Target. It's worth the cost because little things like that are going to just change it. There's sometimes that you can do off brand, but I'm telling you, it does make a taste difference. And also in your, um, this calls for mar marinara sauce, which you can make homemade, but today I'm not going to make homemade. And if you always buy just the off brand um, gross kind, it's actually going to be like more gross. I'm serious. So I like this Brillella. I'm probably, I never pronounce anything right. I'm sorry, at least I tell you I don't. And because I love their pasta, so I actually have been loving this one, but it makes a difference in your food. So I want you to know that and I want you to remember that. Okay, now while we're still waiting, the chicken broth, I've had this many times. I actually like, I have loved this one. I have it upside down, but I have bought this from my Costco and I have had this for a long time. And I love how you can just um, make it up on your own. You can buy the cans, but I really like this. I like this. And I like them in the, I like it in the, uh, the little tin thing too, but my Costco was out of it. So anyways, I really like this too. And then another thing that most people didn't know, this calls for half and half in this recipe. Did you know that you can freeze half and half? Um, the last time that I shared that, I had a lot of you that were so shocked by that. And you can freeze it. You honestly can freeze anything, you guys. So that's really great. When you have a recipe and you need half and half on hand, that's really great to just pull it out of your freezer. So, okay, we're finally getting this going. So you're just kind of going to make a roux and you're going to whisk it for about five minutes until it becomes slightly brown, okay? But my whisk is like totally taking this too much. I think I'm gonna get my other whisk. Sorry that this is taking so long. My thing, I went and bought it 
to show you. And this is funny. Okay, another thing, um, we kind of want to know what you guys want more from us. I don't know if you want me to show more of our kitchens. Um, the way we showed that one time, but we've gotten new followers. So you guys need to tell us what you want to see more. If you want to see more lifestyle, I know you have a lot of people asking that, but I really do want to just do what you guys want from me. That's why I take those polls sometimes is because I want to show you what, you know, the viewers want to see. Okay, so this is getting brown. You can't really see, but this is getting brown. So, um... Now you're going to whisk in your four cups of chicken broth, okay? So we're gonna whisk four cups of our chicken broth that we already have made. And you're gonna slowly kind of mix it in because you've got a pretty thick mixture. So you don't wanna just add it all at once. I just like to take it a little bit at a time and whisk it in. Are, are you guys still there? Are people asking questions and it's not working again? Somebody say something so I know. So then you're going to add the rest of your chicken broth. Just slowly whisk it in to your roux that you've created. This is a very good tomato basil soup. I, I have to say, I, I will die if these comments are turned off. Oh my gosh. Have they been turned off? Oh no, they have been. Oh no. Yes, kitchen setup. Is that the one I saw? Um, use, I use a fresh organic chicken stock base too. So yummy. Yeah, good. Okay, my comments were off. Thanks for all the tips. Oh my gosh. Okay, what are you making? This is a creamy tomato basil soup. Would love to see kitchen organization. Okay, good. Um, I know I say it a lot, but because I can't do a lot. I'm in a rental here. So I can't do exactly what I would like to do, but we do have some good tips. And that's why I thought it was fun showing my family stuff. Um, because you know how it is when you have your own house, you can do exactly what you want. And I can't exactly, but we do have some fun organ, you know, organization tips. I don't know if you want to see more kitchen decor. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want. So let us know. Okay. So we've whisked this in. What did it just say? I want to see you make more recipes. Um, it makes me see that I can do it. Good. Okay. Well, that's why I'm doing it. No worries, sir. It's okay. You guys are so nice. You guys are so nice. That's why I'm doing this. I want you to see that you can do it. And I am having so many of you that are like, I'm doing the bread. I'm doing it. I'm so proud of you. I really am. Okay. So we've whisked this in. So this looks good. Okay. So now you're going to increase the heat until it starts to thicken, which it's going to thicken pretty fast. Now, this is kind of a thick tomato basil soup. If you want to, it to be more thin, then you're going to add more half and half or chicken broth. But I would probably add more half and half because it can sometimes be on the thicker side. Sorry, what were you saying? I would love to see a live on the gluten-free baguettes. Okay, we can do that too. We showed that over Christmas, but we didn't do a live. But yes, we can do that. Okay, this is getting thick. Do you see this? This is getting super thick, exactly the way we want it. Um, can you tell us the number on your squeezed chicken stock so I can see if my Costco has it going in about one hour? Yes, let me find it. Um, what do you want, the item number? Or tell us the number. The item number, can you see this? Just organic chicken. It's really good. It's really, really good. I would love to see more bread, French. Okay, so listen. Every Friday, I'm going to do a live on bread or pizza. So just so you know, that's how it's going to be. Every Friday will either be um, bread or my pizza. I'm going to do the pizza again this week because I never really showed you that. So um, I'm going to show you pizza this week. Um, would love tips on saving money by reusing ingredients or leftovers in a new meal. Okay, that's a great one. Item on the back. 
Item on the back is 1178482. Did you catch that? I need a picture of the back. <laughs> Here, this lady wants a picture of my back of my bottle. And there's got stuff on it. Okay, so now we're gonna add three and a half cups of half and half, okay? So we're gonna add three, three, and a half cups, okay? This is very easy when you don't, um, where is my half a cup? This is very easy and fast too when you're not um, talking to people. This is going to be barely fitting and I knew that because I'm using my, um, my bigger pot is getting ready for my beer bread lifestyle your kitchen decor okay um do the half-baked pizza dough thing again that you did before freezing it really okay well i can show that again on friday okay so you're gonna add your three and a half cups of half and half and then at this point you're supposed to let it simmer for at least 20 minutes you can speed up the process because we are but we're gonna let it do it for one more second then all you do is mix in your marinara sauce, the tomatoes, and basil, and then cook. And then if you want to make it thinner, that's when you would add more half and half or chicken broth. And then just do lots of salt and pepper to taste and add your, um, and you can garnish it with fresh basil on top. So there wasn't even that much to so show with that soup. Um, I just joined and I got three and a half cups of, I will post the recipe, okay? I will post the recipe so you can see it. But um, it's very simple. Sorry I go away from the camera. So you would just let that simmer at that point and then you just add everything else. So it's super fast, you guys, and it's yummy. It's yummy and it smells really, really, really good. So um, what I was, else I was gonna say, if you, I don't love like chunks of tomato all the time. So sometimes I will even kind of chop this up to make it more fine or you can do um, the petite diced or whatever, but just know that your quality on tomatoes and um, tomato sauce and pastas, all those things are gonna create a completely different taste in your meals and they're gonna make them for the better. Okay, does anybody want to see me roll out the beer dough or no, we can be done. I can't believe my thing is not working. Guess I'm gonna have to figure that out. That is craziness. Oh, now I think it is working. Oh my gosh, this thing is nuts. Okay, anything else, you guys? Any questions on anything? But yes, we are gonna do, um, so the salad, I'm having another lunch today with friends and I am making the orzo chicken salad that is a serious must, you guys. Like, you have to try it. It's so good. But I guess we could finish this too really fast. I guess we could finish this too. But did you see how simple the soup was? So there wasn't even that much to show on it. There wasn't even that much. So we're just going to kind of speed it up, and then we'll take the, um, it's one and a half cups of marinara sauce. Um... Thank you for the lives. I just got that. I just got the books for Christmas and I'm so excited. Yay, I'm so excited for you. Today has been a funny live, everybody. I'm really sorry. Quite a hilarious live. I'm like, some days you see the real life that goes on here. So you're just gonna add the one and a half cups of marinara. You literally just dump it in like this, making sure I have enough. And you're gonna add your tomatoes, um, I believe with the juice. I think you're gonna add the tomatoes with the juice and then you're gonna mix. And like I said, if you don't like chunky tomatoes, then, then dice them up a little bit. Like put them in a blender and dice them up a little bit. But see how it's kind of a little bit of a thicker soup. And then I add, I don't really add the chopped basil in it because my kids are like, what is that? but I like it on top of mine. But honestly, I don't think I need to add more half and half. And as it sits, it will kind of get thicker, but I'm gonna add my French salt 
Like I said, you guys, you can put your French salt in a salt blend grinder. You can have it in a mortar thing that I use, whatever. But this salt changes your life. And then you're gonna add some pepper, ground black pepper. Can you kind of see it? I know your comments are kind of in the way. Can you see it? It's really good. It is so good. This is, um, and like I said, you would put it in um, a chopped. It's so good. It seriously is, it's so good. When you say you can freeze pretty much anything, do you leave it in the original containers? Can you freeze, thaw, again or no? Yes, you honestly can re, you can freeze anything. You can freeze our French baguettes, you can freeze our Italian bread, you can freeze the soups, the pasta, anything, the pizza dough, anything. I promise you, you can do it. You just put it in um, a Ziploc baggie or wrap it in plastic wrap and then you take it out, you can let it unthaw, um, and then I like to either put it back in the oven, you can reheat your pizza. This is another thing I was gonna tell you on pizza night and I was gonna tell you this Friday, is especially when you ever buy your pizza, like, like say you just went out and you bought a pizza in the container, you know? Do never, never put it away like that because that makes your whole fridge reek of like pizza, you know what I'm talking about? So I always put my pizza in a gallon bag, you know, and then to reheat it, I either will put it back on my pizza stone or you can put it on your griddle, like um, on your you know pan on the stove and I reheat my pizza on that and you just put the lid on top and it's like new. You can do anything, you can freeze anything. Oh, okay, the half and half, yes, it's in the original container, sorry. I go off on lots of different things. Yes, if you were to freeze the half and half, you literally freeze it like this, like this. Um, buttermilk, half and half, all of that. You just put it in there. Um, I just got your salt and you're not exaggerating. Love it. Oh, it is the best. It upgrades your salt. Anyways, we can be done. We can be done. I, I didn't even... I didn't even cut up basil, you guys, to chop on top. This morning, this has been one of those lives, but can you see how yummy this soup is? It's one of everybody's favorite recipes of my mom's book. And like I said, if you don't like the chunks of tomato, then I would chop it up a little bit, but you would put some chopped basil, and it's so good. Mm -hmm. Anyways, do you guys want to be done? I don't like when I go over. Wait, what's the details on the salt? So the salt, it's a French salt. Let me find it. We're trying to become a distributor of this salt because we're telling everybody to go and buy it. But this is a French salt. This is literally from France. You can get this at World Market or Amazon. It's going to change your life. It's going to change your life. Um, we never said we were ever gonna share the secret, and we are, so you've got to go and get this salt. It's the best. With the half and half, you just let the whole container thaw. If so, can you refreeze it again? Yes, you just um, let it unthaw if you know that you're gonna be using it that day. No, I would not, I would not put it back in the freezer. No, I would not. I would just, you, it, what, if you don't use it all, I would just put it in the fridge and then you'll just have to be done. You'll just have to be done with it. I love your pepper jack cheese potato soup. Oh, it is so good. Okay, I don't have everything out for the salad. That's the only thing. So I might have to show you um, with a, like some stories or something, but the salad, oh my gosh, I'm like so unorganized. But the artisan beer bread I'm doing, and then I'm actually gonna be making some non bread um, today. But the salad, you guys, everybody dies for the salad. <clears throat> they love it. They love it, love it, love it. So it's in book number two, and I just wanna tell you exactly what you kinda do. Um, what's so good about it is you just get some chicken, you grill up the chicken in a saucepan with some olive oil and butter and salt and pepper, and then you make this really good dressing of olive oil, fresh lemon juice, salt and pepper, and then the toppings are going to be baby arugula. That's your lettuce part of the salad. And then you've got grape tomatoes that you've cut up 
feta cheese, pine nuts, and um, you can, oh, and fresh dill. When you chop the fresh dill in it, this salad, it's so good. People love it, people love it. I've made this many times for my friends here and they're probably sick of it, but it's such a good one. So I can post the recipe or you can ask me if you wanna try it, but I don't think I'm gonna have time to show it exactly right now. This comes, it goes way too long. We talk too long, but I love it. Okay, um, what did you say? What's the name of the salt? Well, we say it wrong. It's like, I don't know. I don't even wanna say it. I always say it wrong, but I'll show you a close up. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot of it. Um, World Market is always all set. said you have to order online. I know if you live in Utah, we've gotten everybody to go and buy it. We're trying to become a distributor of it because we're telling everybody to buy it. It's like, we're, we're, it's, gone, it's gone crazy. Um, we would love to see the naan. I think I put too much flour when I made it last time. Um, okay, I can try to so, show some stories on it. Uh, made you Alfredo sauce. Oh, it's so good. Where can we order the cookbooks? They're on the foodnanny.com. And we we are still doing the deal. They're two for $30 because you guys are loving it. And they're the best things you will ever invest in. Um, my mom works so hard. These are the best. Please post all the recipes. Okay, we will. Um, I just want to tell you one more thing about the, the beer bread, okay? I always talk about this because it's literally so impressive when you make this for a friend or your family, and it's very easy. I let my dough rise last night, and um, literally all you do is mix. And I've told you before that you don't add all the flour to most of your breads. This recipe you actually do. So you just add everything, um, you just add everything, and then you let it mix and your bread has to rise for at least eight to 18 hours. If you have not made this, I will show the picture again for the new followers. It's the best bread, it's the best. We have a raspberry butter, a strawberry butter that you put with it when it's super hot. So all you do is just take your bread from the bowl. Sorry, you guys are asking questions. How long are you running that special? It's gonna keep going for a while. We've had so many of you beg for us to keep it, so we're, it's gonna keep going. It's gonna keep going. I got the second for Christmas. It was my favorite, most favorite and excited gift. Yay, you guys are the nicest. You're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. I show you a different recipe all the time. You're never going to get sick of these recipes. And we throw in different ones that we don't always cook in the book too. So anyways, you just take this, you knead it a little bit, then you let it rise on um, saran wrap again. And then I have my Le Creuset pot that's been getting hot in the oven for at least 30 minutes. It's just kind of like your pizza stone. And then you just plop it out and wait till I show you another picture of this bread today because I think we're just going too long. There's so many things to talk about. Um, okay, should we just be done? I will, I will post the recipes and I will, um, I will show you how to do the salad, but it's very simple, but you guys have to make it. It's very good. The husbands even love it. Oh, and I'm forgetting the biggest thing. The orzo is the orzo pasta. That's what you have to make. Orzo pasta. Duh, I forgot like one of the main ingredients. So you add the orzo pasta. It's very good. Men even love it. I'm not kidding. It's, a, it's just got everything and it's got a really healthy um, flavor to it and whatever. Anyways, we're just out of it. <laughs> I hope you learned something. The soup is super simple. If you didn't see that, I'm sorry. My thing didn't work, but give it a try. It's a lot of you, um, a lot of my mom's fans and our fans love this soup. So it's very good. Make any kind of bread with it. That's, I just love bread with soup. I love pasta with soup. I love everything with bread. I got a bread problem. But anyways, thanks you guys. We will just be done. I know, should we just be done? <laughs> we'll be done, but I'm gonna do lives. This is the last thing I'm gonna tell you. I think I'm gonna do lives every Tuesday, every Thursday, and every Friday. And Fridays are going to be pizza or bread. So I am going to get you making bread and pizza, that is my 100% goal. So 
That is what we're gonna do. And my mom will be on here too. You two are seriously changed the way I feed my family. I didn't know I could do this. Now I feel like a rock star in the kitchen. Oh my gosh! This is why I'm doing this. I know I say that all the time, but this is seriously why. So you guys are so good to us and that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to do them at 10 o'clock every time. Today was just nuts. Some days I'm gonna have nuts ones. I've got little kids, but I'm trying, so be patient with me. And just remember to cook, you guys. Just get the, whatever it is, whatever it is. If you're having a leftover night, if you're having a crazy night and you're picking up takeout, I don't care. Just sit around with your families because your family is worth it. And I'm gonna continually say that to you because they are. And it's, it's just, it's a lifestyle, you guys. Anyways, thank you. Hope you learned something. Hope you wanna try the soup and everything. And I'll do more stories and post recipes today. Anyways, have a great day. We'll talk to you later.